from his own uh, supporters, his party people, his ministers, former ministers, to supporters of the India Against Corruption movement. Everybody is asking Arvind Kejriwal questions. I have with me the very senior Shanti Bhushan, who was one of the mentors of this movement. But Shantiji, today everybody is asking questions of Arvind Kejriwal. There are allegations of gross corruption in the ministries of his ministers, a charge of personal corruption against him as well. His brother-in-law has been involved in an investigation. Do you think he should resign? Yes, I think he should resign. Because, you see, when we established the Aam Admi Party, of which I was an important founder, uh, we felt that we will establish the most ethical and the highest principles to run a political party, mm. which had caught the imagination of the people, particularly in Delhi. Mm. And that is the reason why the people embraced the Aam Admi Party in such a big way. Mm. But the things which have happened thereafter, how Arvind Kejriwal not only has made it a single-man party, but made it one of the most corrupt parties, one of the most unprincipled parties, which is prepared to do anything for gains. Mm. That has disappointed me in a huge way. Mm. And therefore, but here the important thing is that a person who was himself chosen by Arvind Kejival mm. to be an important cabinet minister with him, to whom very important portfolios were assigned by him, has leveled very serious charges against him, then you can't dismiss them as charges without any basis by any Tom, Dick and Harry. They have to be taken seriously. And therefore, according to the highest principles which we wanted to establish in the Aam Admi Party, the first thing which Arvind K. Jival is called upon to do is to immediately tender his resignation from chief ministership and call for a quick conduct of the inquiry by whichever agencies are conducting that inquiry, whether it is CBI or it is the ACB, whichever, and conduct it. Look at the al Adwani when some charges of Havala appeared against him, he immediately resigned from the Lok Sabha and said that he would not contest another election to the Lok Sabha till he was cleared of the charges. And he contested the election only after he was cleared of the charges. Sir, forget about even losing his chair, leaving his chair. He's not even taking any action against Satyendra Jain. Documents have come out. And, you know, there is a uh, PWD inquiry by the ACB in his department. There are uh, documents by Kapil Mishra, there are documents by ordinary citizens. Uh, even somebody like a former AAP volunteer's mother has come out and said that Arvind Kejival is behind the death of her daughter. You know, people are making very personal charges. Kapil Mishra told me yesterday that he's a mafia, he's not a politician. Under such circumstances, somebody who held himself to such high standards of probity, who made allegations and then asked for resignations. This is the least that Arvind Kejriwal can do, by his own standards. See, now it seems to me mm. that Arvind Kejriwal is very afraid mm. that if he takes any action against Satyendra Jain, mm. he might open his mouth yes. and his part start revealing all the secrets mm. of Arvind Kejriwal, which must be known to him and which might land Arvind Kejriwal in jail. So that must be the fear which is inspiring him not to take any action against Satyendra Jain. Therefore, Aam Admi Party has ceased to exist. There is no such thing as a political party, Aam Admi Party. In fact, I am surprised that for the last two years, Aam Admi Party, Arvind Kejriwal, has been taking all unconstitutional steps. They have rec never recognized the constitution of the Union Territory of Delhi. Mm. And now, Shunglu Committee report has yes. reported. I am surprised why the government is not dismissing this government. Mm. 
for acting unconstitutionally, which is not only their power but their duty under the constitution. It seems to me that mm. probably some leadership of BJP feels mm. that that howsoever illegal and unconstitutional, mm. but the continuance of some form of a party is in their interest because they cut into Congress votes. And but but Amadi Party himself uh, itself keeps saying Arvind Kejriwal that everybody is a BJP agent. Kapil Mishra is a BJP agent. Once Kumar yeah, Vishwas was a BJP yeah. agent. They say they say that BJP is not letting them work. No, it seems that uh, Arvind Kejriwal has now become an agent of BJP mm. to continue to weaken the Congress, and there that is his main goal. And therefore, the BJP wants to him to continue so that uh, Congress doesn't gain strength. Sir, you have worked for so long with Arvind K. Trival. Many have. Anna Ji had. Kapil Mishra had. I asked Kapil also this, that why are you saying all of these things now? That he's corrupt and he's a mafia. You have known him for so long. Do you believe that he's personally corrupt and that he could do any anything to anyone who comes up against him? Now, I have not the least doubt that he is personally corrupt. Okay. Two years back, I would not have accepted that. Mm. But today, I have not the least doubt that he has himself mm. engaged in corruption. He must have amassed wealth. Finally, sir, how will you put pressure on the government? You, your I, associates and your organization? I can't put any pressure on the government. I have, I am nobody. Mm. So, but I can only express my view, which I have expressed. You will back Kapil Mishra in his fight? Huh? You will back Kapil Mishra in his fight? You see, we have our own organization, mm. Swaraj India political party, and Swaraj Abhiyan, uh, an organization mm. for campaigning. So, we will continue to function in those parties. But if anybody, mm. anybody is doing some good work, against corruption, well, all right, my good wishes will be with such a person. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for talking to us.